As hosts to a variety of pathogens and parasites, they are the world's deadliest animal to humans, the mosquito. We are in Professor Mary Garvin's lab at Oberlin College, where she maintains a colony of Culex pipiens mosquitoes. So let us take a step into the ongoing life cycle of these mosquitoes. In addition to feeding off of plant-based nectar and juices in the wild, female mosquitoes need to take blood meals in order to have offspring. Female mosquitoes sense body odor, carbon dioxide, and heat in order to locate their hosts. After one is found, she penetrates its skin with needle-like mouthparts and injects a bit of saliva, which contains an anticoagulant that simplifies the extraction process. This saliva also causes the itchy mosquito bites we know and love and can at times act to inadvertently transmit parasites. A successful meal lasts only a few minutes, but in this time span, a female can ingest two to four times her weight in blood. The blood she ingests is essential for egg production, as it contributes to proteinaceous egg yolk. After fertilization, a female mosquito lays her eggs on the surface of still water. The eggs lock together to form egg rafts on the water surface. After a bit of time and under the proper conditions, the caps burst off of the eggs and the larvae wiggle out. They immediately position themselves on the surface of the water and soon after, their mouthparts extend and begin to function. Larvae of this species have a respiratory siphon that functions like a snorkel on the surface of the water through which they can breathe. Larvae make their own water currents in order to obtain food. This is achieved by mouthparts that act as paddles that beat the surrounding water. This larval stage is spent intaking the nutrients necessary for growth, and they grow a lot. Then they undergo an even more drastic change. The mosquito pupal phase is analogous to that of a butterfly, in which the pupa develops in its cocoon. Instead of a siphon, they have respiratory trumpets that look like little horns and similarly take in oxygen and they remain generally motionless unless they are evading a threat. But they are still incredibly active in terms of the dramatic internal development that is taking place. Once the adult mosquito is fully formed within the pupal cuticle, they take in air that in turn creates pressure within the cuticle, causing it to split at its midline. Then the adult gradually emerges from its pupal structure. It makes its first appearance as a mature mosquito. The life cycle then continues on again, and again, and again. 